In this video, I'm going to walk through the process of using the Royal Caribbean app to go in and do your check-in. You notice it's got our information that it tells us when we're going to get there. Now it has the time there, and we'll come back to that in a minute. And it shows you any other selections that you already have made, so reservations, those kinds of things. But we're going to do the go through the check-in process so you can see what you can do using uh, the app. So I'll go back up here and click edit check-in and so this will open up in just a second it shows me the reservation and where we are in the process now it's going to have my passport information and my date of birth that kind of information here which obviously I'm not going to let you see but it'll be there you can also go ahead and take your photo for your ship security photo so you don't have to do that when you get to the terminal now I authorized it for boarding I didn't do it for photography on board the ship it wants your country information, crown and anchor number, address, uh, emergency contacts, and your credit card information. You put all of that in, and you're in pretty good shape for being checked in. Now, the next step in the process is select an arrival time. And so you notice that I have uh, 2.30 to 3 selected based on when I get into the airport in Nassau. So at, at this stage, I still haven't completed the health and safety check. Here's the questions it asks. But in this case, it won't let me do it till the day before. And it tells me we'll get a notice that uh, we can fill it out. And now we can look at our boarding pass. And there's our muster station, our cabin number, reservation, and the ship. All of the information for that. So it's a really slick tool. And this is one of several videos in the series on how to use it. If you haven't subscribed, do me a favor.